This is a bedhead vlog. I've been up and down all night. The last couple days I've been dealing with headaches. That's why the last couple days I put up some stuff that was like recorded from my flip cam. Yesterday I woke up without one. And we did go out in the world for a little while because Dad came in and said, I'll take you out to lunch since I won on Friday. He won at cards. He won like $62. So he took me out for lunch and we went to El Rodeo which is a Mexican place and we each got a special he got the hot and spicy burrito and I got the number 8 which was a taco and enchilada beans and rice like 4 and a quarter come on now good lunch special um, so we did that and we had to go to PetSmart and get Heidi some food because she was nearly out and we went over by Lake Michigan, and then on the way home, I was going to stop at Myers, but my headache came back, and I was like, as I'm driving by Myers, I'm like, Dad, I would stop at Myers, but I want to get home and take some leave. My head hurts. And he knew I was serious when I <laughs> when I don't go to Myers. <laughs> so I got home and took some leave and laid down, and I still have a headache. A small one. This is the kind that's just a nuisance. It's just enough to annoy you. Now, the day before yesterday was horrible, but it's kind of stepping down. I wouldn't call it a migraine stat. A couple days ago, it might have been on the borderline of a migraine, but now it's just annoying. <laughs> Dad's been gone since 5.30 this morning. He had to go. They're having a breakfast at the Legion. And they're serving from 6 to 1, and he's the egg cooker. So about 5.15, I hear, hey, hey, Stacy. I'm like, huh? What? He's like, can I use your car? I don't care. I don't know why. We have three vehicles, two of which are his, but he always wants to borrow my car. I don't understand it. <laughs> so, it sees 11 now, so he's been cooking eggs for a good five hours get two more hours to go. I guess they were doing eggs and sausage, biscuits and gravy, and a waffle for like five bucks. Um, so he'll probably come home and take a huge power nap in his chair. I know my cousin's supposed to come over sometime and borrow our car, Dad's car, his Impala, to go down to Indianapolis for the Crapper Convention, the International Pumper Show where all the people who have anything to do with portable toilets or septic or whatever. It's a big show. People from all over the world. I remember a few years ago, Ronnie went, he got hooked up with these Australian guys that got him drunk. So every year I'm like, watch out for the Australian guys. He goes, oh, I know. <laughs> um, so he and Noah are going. And uh, they'll be there, see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I think Monday and Tuesday education days. Um, so you get, you get, because you have to keep up on education. You have to get so many credits a year, and you have to fax them to the state. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Or send them copies. Um, but Ron's really good about keeping his certif certifications up, so that's good. So they're going to be gone for the next few days. Hopefully they'll have fun. They have, they always have like a, a night where they have entertainment. Like a, it's usually a country singer. I don't know who's there this year. And they have what they call the Coal Pub. Coal Inc. is the company that really puts on this big shindig. And they always have a pub where you get 25 cent beers. So there's some beer consumed. They have it at a big uh, convention center. It it has bounced around. I remember the first year we, uh, the first year we had our business. It was down in Louisville, Kentucky, and then it was in Nashville. No, the first year we had it was in Nashville, and then it went up to Louisville. It stayed there for quite a few years. And here, the last couple of years, it's been in Indianapolis. And last year, Ron could not go because he was working at the nuke plant at the same time, and he couldn't get the time off. Well, this time he goes to the the convention, and then he starts the new plant next Monday. Like, next Monday. What is that, March 2nd, 1st? So, no, 6th, 4th, I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> so, 
So he'll be doing that. The outage, which lasts for usually about five weeks, six weeks. Yeah. This is when he lives on five hour energies and very little sleep. <laughs> what else do I have to talk about? Really not a whole lot. Today I'm just having a blah day. I'm going to get ready to go take some leave. Have some, maybe some oatmeal. Watch maybe something on my DVR. I'll be doing a little research for a friend on apartments and things. I have some calls I want to make tomorrow. You know who you are. Um, my, I asked my cousin because he he used to, my cousin used to own a lot of properties and he used to be a landlord. He only owns one now, and I asked him about that one, but it's in the hood, and it has no um, right now it has no hot water here or furnace. So I'm like, oh okay, yeah. That's not. It's been empty for a while, um, but I asked him. I said, "Do you know anybody else who deals in that kind of stuff, Reynolds?" And he, he's gonna pass me a name, so, and a number. If he remembers, I'm gonna remind him of that today. All right, I'm babbling enough. I need some leave. Give me some drugs. I'll see you all later.